What is going on, guys? Devinator here. Oh, we went a little bit farther than what we should have last episode. I went inside this gym and I immediately, uh, I just wanted to see what happened, and we immediately got into a battle. So you missed out that battle. Nothing crazy happened. No new capture. No new nothing like that. And I think we probably should have healed. But here we are. Hopefully, everything goes all right. Yeah, Espeon's okay. No, I think we'll be alright, actually. We should be okay. Confusion's about to run out. I think it's super effective against Golbat. And then we'll do Shadow Blade against Rimmeraid. Or Shadow Blitz. Should I say? How was y'all's weekend? Mine was great. Had a great time with the kiddo and family that was up here. Uh, we had Easter yesterday. And it was a good time. This will be... By the time you guys see this, it'll be like 3.30, or no, not 3.30, probably about 4 o'clock, 4.15-ish, because I'll be back on third, so it'll be a little bit later. You should see that in the Friday episode I was telling you all about how I was going back to first for a little while, and that'll affect the schedule a little bit, but no worries. Still here, still doing good stuff. We're going to keep doing this. For as long as I can and I should know closer to when that six to eight weeks is up when I go back or if I go back and what exactly the plan is so I'll be sure to keep y'all posted on that um, I hope everyone had a great Easter we did we have went to my mom and dad's and her grandparents and it was a good time everybody enjoyed it I'm glad I'm glad it was a good day and we're I got a lot of stuff done the room is not complete. I didn't expect us to be as busy as we were. We went to Dave and Buster's with her mother, or mom and dad, Saturday night for her dad's birthday. And it was, we, we, uh, we spent a little bit more time there than I had anticipated, but all is good. We are going to finish it. Me and my dad are gonna, I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna do some stuff around the house tomorrow that requires outside work before the rain because we've been having a lot of rain here shit there's no pokemon center i keep forgetting so i wonder if this whole trick works to switch out like it works in uh okay um Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is how you get to party Pokemon. I was a little com confused. So, let's move Espeon to the box. And Teddy Urso, let's move him to the box. Let's move Skiploom. And let's move Planko. This works in the games. On Game Boy. So, maybe this will work... So we'll back out completely and then try this again. Now hopefully this works and we'll move it into our party and then we'll move Vigar here, we'll move into the party, replace the Snorlax and then we'll take Teddy Ursa and move him with Pineco. We'll back out completely. Let's check and see if that worked. Ha! It does work in this game. So it's it's a little bit slower. <clears throat> but it's better than... Better than using our potions and stuff. Uh, we'll just... Play some here. So, now that we're healed, we'll go back to that gym and finish taking on those people in there. Let's, um... Make sure my Pokemon's in the right spot. That's fine. That's fine for now. That is good for now. I actually want to switch and try and get these to be not Shadow Pokemon anymore. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I got something in my throat. But yeah, my dad's coming over Tuesday since it's supposed to rain. And we should be able to knock out that room down there walls-wise. And... 
and then that'll be done. We'll be set up in the studio. It should be all set up Tuesday, and I should be recording the rest of the week in there. And I've got plans, and I want to do um, a little bit more since I'm on first shift. I think we'll be doing a live stream series. I'm not sure of what yet, but we'll probably be doing a live stream series, and then um, adding on the load. Yeah, we'll just do this, I guess. And adding on the load for um, uploads. So we should be seeing close to a video almost every day. Hopefully. With uh, live streams. That's the goal. It may not be every day. We might give myself like a Wednesday or something. I'm not real sure. But we will figure something out. I will figure something out. But I definitely want to take complete advantage of this time that I'm getting on first ship and really put out the content for y'all. Really grow my channel. Um, this month we didn't see as much growth as I would have liked to see, but we did see a little bit of growth, so that's good, and a little bit is better than none. A little bit is better than none. And I do appreciate all of you that do come back and continue to watch these videos. It means the world to me. I'm glad y'all are sticking around. It really means a lot. So we'll go ahead and do Confusion on Miss Drevis. Hopefully that works. And Shadow Wave, both of these. It might not be super effective. I thought that was. Maybe it's not a pure ghost type. Maybe that's what it is. I know that's a ghost type move. Hopefully that takes that'll take Mistrevis out. Hopefully it does a decent amount to Schneasel. Not, not as much as I would have liked to see, but it's okay. Damn. Uh, just keep sending out. Oh, we could catch a meowth. Tell you what, we'll try. It's not gonna be make or break, but we'll try. Hopefully this bite kills. It did not. Maybe the shadow shed will kill. Main attack. Oh, damn, they're really going after Espeon hard. They're really going after Espeon, not good. Yeah, it didn't really affect the Meowth. I didn't think it would. Oh my gosh, it didn't affect that really either. Well, let's try Swift. No. I could have probably attacked that Meowth again. I just didn't want to risk killing it. God, it's gonna kill SBR. Oh no! <sighs> Shadow Shed. Yeah, it's gonna kill SBR. It killed it. This sucks. Um, Teddy Ursa. I wonder when he evolves. I've been saying that since we got him. Let's try a lick and then we'll use a Pokemon. Oh, well that's gonna go first. Well, that sucks. Oh wow, it broke out. Damn. They're going after my strong Pokemons. Oh no, it doesn't affect. Let's try a faint attack then. We'll try another Pokeball. This probably won't work, but we try it. Come 
come on. Ha! Huh. Caught it. Second ball, cool. These are just good to have, I guess, just in case. I suppose. Well, now I have to find the other. Do I have the elevator key? I don't think so. I do not. Do I have a revive? I think I do. So I'm going to use that on Espeon because I don't really feel like going back and doing all that shit again with the box and stuff. So, nobody over here. What about these people up here? What do you got for me? Hmm. So how the hell do I get downstairs? Okay, so that's... The elevator key was there. Kind of checking, making sure it's not placed somewhere over here, and make sure it's not up here on this desk or something. Like that. Nope. So it must be out here somewhere. Oh no! Damn it! Where's that at? The stadium. So it's maybe, maybe it's up here. Hopefully. Right? So this old guy was a fake. I figured so. Seemed weird that they were blocking that off. Oh, Torkoal, that's cool. One of them may be a shadow Pokemon. They don't look like it though. Nope. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that Nuzleaf real quick. Fuck, it doesn't affect it. Not good. Well, maybe that'll flinch it. Nope. Nope. They do not critical hit. They're going after Espeon, man. What the fudge? You gotta get rid of that Torkoal. It's doing a lot of damage. That did nothing. It did pretty much nothing. I don't know what that means. I don't think I can use Swift again. That's okay, I'm not going to. Flinch it. Shit. Jesus. Um. Bite the nose, leave, shadow wave. Maybe we'll get Torkoal to die. Or one or the other. It'll kill Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf flinch, that's good. Shadow Wave. Super effective against Torkoal. Super effective against Nuzleaf. The so Nuzleaf is gone. You have anything else? A swine of. That's a shadow Pokemon. Like I said, we'll try and catch these. We're not going to make it a huge deal, but we'll try and catch them just because. 
hit. Oh, it's paralyzed. You're also paralyzed. No. We'll use that against that and that. Okay, that's good. Use that against my other shadow Pokemon. That's not very effective. Oh my god. Are you fucking serious? They're literally gonna kill Espeon again. What the fuck? <laughs> Please tilt, kill Torkoal, kill Torkoal. It <laughs> lift on one. Fuck. Maybe it won't move. Maybe it'll be paralyzed and won't be able to move. <sighs> I accidentally killed the swine up, I forgot. Oops. Alright, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. This will kill. Boom! Torkoal has fainted. And that's all she wrote for him. So I need to do... I need to heal up as beyond. That's like my only chance. That's... It's my best. It's my best. It's my best bet. So, do we have any paralyzed heals? Yes. Use on Espeon. Super potion. Really. Alright, so that pretty much puts him at full health. Good enough, right? Into the stadium. Oh boy. So nobody here. That door opens up over here. Is there anything over here? Just want to make sure we don't miss nothing. So we'll go in on this side, I suppose. I have to beat you in the stadium, that's okay. Just bring it on. Pelipper and Electrike. Now, I would like to have an electric type Pokemon on my team. I don't think either of them are Shadow, but. We'll try Electrike first. Hell yeah. Get rid of that real quick so it don't paralyze me. <laughs> the spear will be easy. It's a shadow Pokemon. Same deal. If we catch it, we do. If not, it is what it is. <sighs> of course. Of course. That's all I have to say is of course. Not very effective against the Spiro. Emotions rose to fever. It entered reverse mode. Oh, well that sucks. <laughs> He's in reverse mode. So my one is in reverse mode, the other one's confused and hurting itself. He's probably gonna attack Espeon. Damn it. <sighs> Tired. So I wonder if that pretty much means basically it's going to hurt itself every time now. I really need to get rid of that Spearow. I'm going to try using um, Bite on the Spearow and Shadow Wave. Because I don't want it to die and I think Bite might be my best option to try and catch it. 
Nope. Killed it. <laughs> oh well. Alright, Snora fainted. It's okay. He's pretty much just a filler. We'll send out Pineco. Just to get rid of that uh darkness level thing, the shadow level thing. Hopefully Espeon just goes ahead and snaps out of the confusion real quick. And it's not, it'll probably hurt it. Oh, it didn't hurt itself. In the confusion. Nice. So bye bye to the Pelipper. Espeon is almost level 35. That's an insane level. You're beaten. And then I'm gonna have to challenge your buddy here. Come on. It's not for my own good. I'm going to beat you like I've beaten all your other ones. Falty, Chang Chow, and Stantler. So I don't know which one is the bigger threat here. Probably Chang Chow, I would assume. I think he's a psychic type. But we'll try a Few, no, bite on Chimecho and a metal claw on Stantler. We'll see what this does, just to see what happens. I don't think the psychic type move will affect it. That was a good choice if I remembered right. I thought I did, and I'm glad I did. And Espeon is level 35 now. Wow. And his special attack is crazy. Teddy Arso just in here getting that free experience. All. Oh. If Grimer's a Shadow Pokemon, I want it. It is. I want it. I want it. Oh no! Maybe Metal Claw will be super effective against. Nope. Will it raise my attack? Yes. Let's do Confusion on Stantler and Faint Attack on Grimer. Because I want Grimer to get the muck. I like muck. Don't know why, but I like muck. Want grammar on the squad. <sighs> Shadow Blitz. Why, why, why are you going after Espeon for? What he ever do to you, boy? We'll do Swift and then another faint attack. I don't want to kill it. I hope this don't kill it. Please don't kill it. It didn't. Alright, good. We'll start throwing balls now. I think I'm going to throw a great ball, actually, because I don't want Espeon to die. No, oh, actually... Heal him. Super Potion. Healed him. Okay, and Teddy Ursa is going to use a great ball. To catch the Grimer. I really want this thing. Come on, stay in there, stay in there. We got the grammar. Awesome. So hopefully that we can get that one to turn into muck soon. Alright, so we're gonna head up this way a little bit and see what is going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm busy right now. What do you forget it? Who's this? Mr. Grievel? I'm trying to read. Um... Bring it on. Mr. Snattle. Alright, time to destroy his EI real quick. Eggrog, Eggnog, Cypher, Eggnog. Oh, I wonder if Graveler is a. I hope Graveler is a Shadow Pokemon. I want Golem. I wonder if you have to trade in this game to get Golem. 
it's not even, so it doesn't matter, I guess. And, uh, sure. Kill it! Alright. I don't really care about it since it's not a shadow Pokemon and I can't catch it. So I don't care. I don't want Golpin. Please don't be the shadow Pokemon. It's not good. I don't want Golpin. So I'm probably going to do that again. Fast aid. I don't know what the hell that does. Probably is going to hurt Espeon. Of course. So confusion on Golpin and then another fan attack on Hoot Hoot. I think it should kill even without the crit. He's got high level Pokemon, level 26. It's close to Teddy Ursa. Nothing is matching Espeon right now. But it's pretty close to Teddy Ursa, so. Seal? I'll take a seal. It's not, not what I want, but I'll try and catch it. Try and catch this one. Oh, it did not kill. It's okay, I'll do Swift, and it should kill both. Or it should kill at least Hoot Hoot. Then it went after Teddy Ursa, good. Leave poor old Espeon alone. Against Seal. Might do a decent amount of damage. I knew it would kill Hoot Hoot. That's good. It'll do a little bit of damage to Seal. So I think I'll do Swift and Faint Attack again on Seal. I don't really know what this does. What does this do? He bases it. So more than likely he's going to hit his attacks from now on. So Swift and Faint Attack again and then we'll throw balls at it. Oh no, it's going to die. It's gonna die. Oh, it didn't. It lived. Oh, yeah. So now we're definitely gonna catch it. Shadow Wave. It's gonna attack both of them, I think. That one didn't do that much damage, though. That's good. So we'll use the ball of Pokey. And if that don't work, we'll throw another ball of Pokey at it. Fresh. This should catch. One, two, three. Seal is ours. Oh, it broke out. What? That's not cool. I thought it was caught. Again. You're not getting away from me, Seal. Now I have to catch you. There. Now I got Seal. Eggnog's defeated. All right, now we're gonna face this guy. Blah, blah, blah. Master Grievous, I don't know. Oh, Cypher Admin Snattle. So we're gonna take on Snattle here. Lantern and Quagsire. So I think the move here should be attack with Espeon and heal with Teddy Ursa's move. I like that. This should kill. Probably will kill Lantern. It didn't. It's not good. Shockwave. 
course, you can't go after anybody the fuck else. You gotta go after Espeon. Again, you have to go after fucking Espeon. Confusion, because I don't want to get paralyzed. We'll try a Metal Claw. Alright, Lantern's out of the way. That's good. Lantern is out of the way. That's the one I was kind of worried about. Lunatone. This is the moon. Is it Shadow? If it is, oh, it is. I really want to catch this one. Okay, that didn't work hardly at all. Quagsire's attack missed. Good. So we'll do a confusion on Quagsire and do a faint attack on Lunatone. Try and weaken down that Lunatone. Get ready to catch it, hopefully. Quagsire lived. That's all right. Shadow Sky. Aura filled the sky. I'm probably going to do that again. Along with a Swift. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Teddy Arsa died. <laughs> What's new? Oh, but Quagsire got hurt. Um, Gligar. Come on out, buddy. Have some fun with everybody. Um, Swift and Poison Sting. Alright, bugs are fainted. You have any more? He does, he has a cast form. Hmm. This attacks both of them. <laughs> Ligar can't take another one of those. Poison it. Oh, shit, it's doing this again. Cast form is hurt. Espeon gets hurt. Uh, Ligar gets hurt. Okay. So let's get this cast form out of the freaking way. We'll do a quick attack on Mimito. Not very effective. I just want to get this cast form out of here. Shit. Mmm. I don't like that. Pine go. Water Pulse, don't attack Espeon, please. Good. I don't think he'll get hurt by that. Espeon gets hurt. And Castform gets hurt. So he doesn't get hurt by that. So the move is here, I'm gonna do Swift, and then I'm gonna heal Espeon up. No. I'm gonna heal Espeon up a bit. I want that Luna to come back. Cast form's out of the way now. Oh my god, he's got more. This sucks. Haha, <laughs> this sucks. This guy's got good Pokemons. Okay. <laughs> this 
might be super effective against it. I doubt it. We'll go after Matang. It's not very effective. That's what I thought. Shit. I need Espeon to live. That's that. Well, this ain't good. Oh, shit. All right, so that's a plus, I guess. I'm just going to heal. Why does it keep doing that? Use it on Espeon. And you've got a poison powder. Let's put Lunatone to sleep. So this was a good move. Put Lunatone to sleep. And then I'll try and poison Matang. Matang's attack missed. This was a good attack. This was a good strategy here by myself. I'm gonna try a bite attack and see where that goes. Let's try bite. No, 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 no. Uh, let's try bite on Matang and poison powder on Matang. So hopefully this poison powder hits. Luna turns to sleep. Poison powder hit. Doesn't affect Matang. Of course it don't. <sighs> I'm gonna do Swift after this. Should kill Matang. I'm gonna tackle Lunatone. And he should be ready for a ball, and I, I've, I've gotta catch it. This has been a very stressful. Oh my gosh, it did not kill. It didn't kill. It didn't kill. <laughs> that sucks. Stay asleep. Metal Claw, and it's gonna hit this time. Shit. I've gotta heal Espeon again. Espeon's gonna die if I don't. Okay, Matang's dead. Out of all that, Matang's dead. Thing was beefy. Whipped, and then we'll heal with Skip Loom's attack. Lunatone should eat it up. So I should be able to do another one. Or probably a tackle attack from Skip Loom. I'll try another sleep powder from Lunatone. Or not Lunatone, from Skip Loom. Alright, good. Stay to sleep. Now I'm going to throw a ball at it. That faded away. Alright, it's ball time. I'm going to try and catch it. We'll throw a great ball first. We'll try the sleep powder again in case it wakes up. Stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. There we go. There we go. 
Lunatone was caught. I defeated Admin Snattle. He'll probably have the elevator key. And then I'll be able to go back to that gym and go downstairs and... Well, I didn't... Okay, there's something on the ground. Maybe that's the elevator key. It's pointing me to it. It's pointing me to it. I bet that is the elevator key. All right. So we've got the elevator key, and I think we're going to wrap it up here. We've already been recording for about 40 minutes. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you all did enjoy this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, if you're new and are interested in joining me and following me on any other social media, I will be posting them down in the description below. I have a Twitter, and that's at Devinator17. And on Facebook, it's Devinator Gaming. There I post about my gaming collection and pickup videos. Also, everything that I've got going on. A personal tweets, everything like that. So if that's something that sparks your interest, I'll have those links down below in the description. Again, if you guys did enjoy, subscribe to the channel. And I will see.